How's it going everybody? My name is Daniel Horn and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to integrate Gmail and Podio. That way you can send some emails through your Gmail accounts from your Podio accounts. My background, just a little bit about me. I've been working with small businesses for the past eight years since 2015. I've worked with hundreds of small businesses working on their integrations and I figured it's about time to uh, open some of these integrations that I've made to the public. So uh, hopefully this little video is um, useful to you and uh, let's get right into it. So in the description, you're gonna see some, some links. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna just be a single link or it's gonna be multiple links, but uh, I've got the links right here that we're gonna be using. Um, the first one is a web form that I built in Podio here. That way you can get access to the integration. Right, so it explains it a little bit here. Um, to get access to the integration shown below, you must be a part of our organization. That's just how Podio works, unfortunately. So I can show you that uh, as proof here. So this is the link to the marketplace inside of Podio and where the, uh, the app pack is published. And the reason I can access this is because my account is associated with the organization, right? I'm associated with this organization, but uh, if I were to use an incognito window here and try to access it, it says that I don't have access. Um, that's two reasons, twofold here, uh, because I'm not logged in um, in this browser, right? But also, even if I was logged in, if I didn't have the organization, or if I wasn't part of the organization, it wouldn't give me access to this. So this web form I've set up so that you can get access to it um, 24 seven, pretty much. So I'll go ahead and just show you what I would do. Right. So, uh, let's do audio bots at hoyle.com. All right. Submit. All right. Gives me a little message here tells me that uh, I should be added automatically if I don't see this email, this email, um, and that will, uh, pretty much I will take care of you from there. So uh, we can see here that, yep, there, were, there I am. Um, I was just added a few seconds ago to this workspace. Um, and the First thing that you wanna do when you get added to this workspace is go to the integrations library and find the Gmail integration uh, dash no attachments. Um, the reason for that is uh, this one is pretty straightforward. It doesn't have the ability to send attachments. Uh, there will be a future release where you're able to send attachments. Uh, be on the lookout for that. From here, you can go ahead and select uh, this link right here and that will take you to where you can install the pack. And before you install the pack, what you're gonna to need to do is create a new workspace. But I'm gonna jump over to a different browser here. Um, that way I can uh, do this properly because I am not paying for uh, the access that I need um, on the other account here. So. Same thing, just go ahead and create a new workspace. So if I went too fast there, go under your organization, create a workspace, and we'll just call it uh, Gmail integration, right? And this is only if you don't want the Gmail integration to be in the same workspace where you do your work, right? Where you have your business. Um, you can add whoever you want here, it doesn't really matter. I like to clean up my workspaces, so I'll get rid of that. And then from here, I can go ahead and uh, go back. Let's see here, I gotta get that link. Here we are. Get this link, copy it over. And then click get pack, and then find that workspace that you just made, Gmail integration, and click next. There we go, it's installed. All right, we've got the two apps that we need. 
And then the next thing that we're going to need to do is go to Podio Workflow Automation. So if we just go to any one of these apps, and uh, I believe if you go under, no, okay. Let's see here, they have not updated this. Anyways, if you go to, uh, I believe it's Podio, it used to be globiflow.com. Let's see what they, yep, so workflowautomation.podio.com. If you go to this uh, web server right here, and I'll, I'll add that to the description links for you. Um, and then you go to your flows. You'll have to refresh from Podio. And what this is going to do is install all of the workflows in the background um, for these apps. So I'll be right back when that is finished. All right, so that is finished now. Uh, that's what it will look like. Uh, you're going to have this warning here. Go ahead and click on that link and it'll load this, this workflow for us. And uh, all we need to do is really just save it and we're good to go. Um, go ahead and copy this link right here from that workflow. We're going to need that. We'll go back to the OAuth tokens app. We'll add a new OAuth token. We're going to name this uh, exactly this Gmail API. So with the capitalization and everything, otherwise it won't work. Um, then we're going to go ahead and paste that redirect link that we copied right there. And then we'll go ahead and save this. Now, this is where the uh, sort of complex part comes in. We've got to get uh, our Gmail accounts integrated with this. And so to do this, I'm going to jump over to yet another browser just to start from an empty, uh, let's see here, an empty account. So this is going to be also another link in the description. So we'll go ahead and copy that and paste it there. All right, so once this loads, we're going to have to enable the Gmail API. Wait for that to load. All right, once it loads, you'll see this screen. I'm just going to jump down to the OAuth consent screen over here on the left. And I would be more inclined to use the internal user type. That only works if you're using uh, a custom domain, though. Um, it's nearly the same, um, and the only difference is you don't need to publish it. Um, and there's some spam issues with the external method that we're going to do, but there's ways to get around that that I'll show you. Uh, that, and those spam issues, you don't have to deal with those when you use the internal user type. So we'll go ahead and choose external here, click create. You can name this whatever you want. I'll just name it uh, Gmail Podio Integration if I can spell. And then just go ahead and select your email for that. So you can skip logo and domain or and authorized domains. Um, then go ahead and put in your email here. I really can't spell today. All right. There we go. And I think this thing is in the way for me. All right, save and continue. All right, once we're here, go ahead and click add or remove scopes. And up here, I'm gonna search for modify. And we'll see the Gmail API scope modify, right? Read, compose, send emails from your Gmail account. This is the only scope that we need. We'll go ahead and select that, click update, and we'll see that down here, right there. We'll click save, save and continue. Um, this is where uh, it separates from internal and external, the differences. Uh, so if you're doing an internal user type, uh, you, you don't even get the screen for the external type you have to add test users. So what you do is you click add users, you add your email. So for this email, I think it's integrations wizard. Goodness gracious. All right, wizard at gmail.com. 
Uh, yeah, it's integrations wizard. Okay. And then you click add and you wait for that to add. There we go. And we can see that our, our user account is right there. We'll click save and continue. We see a summary and if we scroll down, go back to dashboard. Um, and then it's giving us an option here to publish the app and you can click on that and you can publish this, but uh, you have to jump through a lot of hoops on that. Uh, so I won't be showing you how to do that today. From here, I'll go to credentials and we'll go ahead and create a new set of credentials using the OAuth client ID method here. Application type is web application. We don't need to rename, rename that at all. Uh, we need to add our redirect URI. So if we go back to Podio, uh, which was over here, and we grab that redirect URI, which again is just this webhook URL, right? So we'll go ahead and copy this and go back and paste that there and click create. And we are so close to finished here. We've got our client ID and our client secret. We'll copy the client ID. We'll paste that into our OAuth app. The client secrets, we'll copy that and we'll paste that here as well. And we're pretty much done. We just click authorize. We wait for this to pop up. We click that and then we log in with the appropriate accounts. And because it's not a published app, it's gonna give you this little warning here. I go ahead and just click continue and continue. And you're gonna end up on a blank screen like this, uh, but if it's not loading, you're good to go. Just go ahead and delete that. And if you go back here, you'll see that we've received some access token, refresh token and expiry date. And so if I go ahead and reload this. Yep. We can see all of the information is here. Now, none of this is going to make sense. Um, but, uh, <laughs> it's not really meant to, it's just basically a whole bunch of passwords. Um, but this is what this app is going to connect you to Gmail and it's going to maintain that, uh, every hour it's going to go ahead and basically click this button for you. And it's going to get a new access token. We can see that it, it completely changes every single time. Right. Uh, so, this will maintain the connection for you. Uh, there's nothing that you need to do uh, from here forward, right? But uh, if you want to uh, send an email, you go to the email app and uh, you just go ahead and fill out these fields. So I'll just do subject test. So the subject field uh, from name, I'll just do my name here. And then integrations, this has to be the email that you used. It can't be any other email. Uh, let's go ahead and do Daniel H at yield.com. This is a test email. All right. So just fill out those and then click save email. And then over here in activity, you'll see, yep, there we go. It changes the status to sent uh, if it is successful. And so I'll go ahead and open up my email account here. And we'll see, there it is. We've got our email from integrations wizard and, uh, the, there are a few hoops that you have to jump through, um, in order to make it show up in your, um, inbox like this. Initially, you're going to see it in the spam folder. Just go ahead and go to the spam folder. Uh, tell Google that it's not spam. Um, and then send it to another email accounts that you have, uh, send it to a friend, whoever I have multiple email accounts. I assume you do too. Uh, just send it to as many email accounts as you have. And whenever it goes to spam, just say, just tell your, your email client, it is not spam. It's not phishing. It's none of those scary things. Um, and then eventually you're going to be able to send emails from this account, uh, from that Gmail account from Podio without it going to the spam uh, folder. So that's the workaround uh, for that. And, uh, go ahead and uh, feel free to use this to just send individual emails, or you can connect this using Podio workflow automation uh, to, uh, to send emails automatically. So let's say you create a new flow. Uh, you want every time an item is created, 
uh, for an email to be sent. We'll just go ahead and run through a little scenario here, right? Name this, send an email, send welcome email, right? So we would do updates or actually create, create item. And then we would search for our uh, email app, right? So there's our workspace with the email app. Uh, we can go ahead and choose silent. That way we don't get any notifications and hook has to be selected. Otherwise nothing's going to happen. And then we go ahead and just fill out all those fields, just like we did inside of Podio like this. And there we go. We just fill out that information. We would save this. Uh, you might want to add some filters, like for example, checking if there is an email to send to, um, and uh, you're good to go. You've got automatic emails being sent for you from your Gmail account. That's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, let me know, and uh, you can comment or you can email me. I'd probably be best to uh, just reach out to me in the uh, workspace that you're in here. Uh, just use the user forum uh, and submit a, a post here. So add a question and post title post all of this, and I will get back to you fastest in this user forum here. And if you have any other integration requests, you can go ahead and fill out an integration request form here. Um, and I can go ahead and start working on that and make that available to everybody as well. Uh, if you want to work with me, um, on an individual basis, uh, I am available, uh, most of the time. Um, if I do have time available, uh, I am available for hire. So, uh, all of those details will be on the activity screen here. Um, and, uh, I'll have to add that right there. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know, uh, if this is, uh, a, a a good integration. And, uh, yeah, if you want to add more integrations, uh, for your business, uh, let me know. And, uh, if it's something that's a lot of people could use, uh, then I'll go ahead and turn it into uh, integration for the integration wizard workspace. Anyways, you guys have a good one.